gosh. The, the ocean. Ocean's just, better than space. Ocean's better than space. Summer summit. Oh god. Wait Summer a second. So far. Do you think space is better than the ocean? Yes. How? Are you serious? You're an idiot. <laughs> so, Are you kidding me right now? You're so wrong. You God, think we haven't even JFK like K would be so mad at you. We're out there. We're looking at space. There's nothing out there. We've There's got nothing. nothing. No we're life wasting force. time. The we, ocean, go, we go to the ocean. Ocean. Ocean's oh, right over there. Yeah. We go to the ocean. The right next are door. So dumb. I know you're. You're just. I'm the, not. We go to the ocean. The they find something new every time. The ocean's an hour away, <laughs> and it's 97 percent unexplored. Why are we trying to spend billions of dollars to go into space to it's find right stuff? There. Because we're on a dying planet, first of all. Exactly. No. The answers could be right here. Underneath no, us. No, no, it's not. Uh, <laughs> the planet isn't even dying. Okay. Look at this guy wearing government pants, right? Oh, you are you too. He's wearing government pants. <laughs> Both of you. What does that mean? It's summer, Josh. It's summer. You don't wear government pants. I don't know what a government <laughs> pants are. God, <laughs> we're over here at job sites. <laughs> I don't know what any of this means. Just go back to Dragon Man. Space, no, space is better, and I can prove it. We, I, space is better, and we will know for sure when No Man's Sky comes out. I'm Josh Vasquez. What's did, your name? Did you see the Super Bowl commercial? What's your name? About the ocean? What's your name? So you're wrong. What's your name? My name is Tommy. What's your name? I'm Joey. We've yes. been recording for two minutes now. That's oh really my god, they got all that? No Man's Sky, Space, Wait, actually, Final we, Frontier. I can't put any of that in. That was all stolen from another podcast. It was? Well, I mean, it's it's uh, references to... Wait. Not shout references. out to the Chartists. Yeah, shout out to the Chartists. Uh, Dragon Boy Suede. Cuckoo. Um, Cuckoo. You guys stole that whole... Th- Are you serious? What? That, so you guys don't even believe that? It's, no, I do. No, we that. do. It's it's a uh, not a mindset. It's a like a. It's just common sense. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, it's there not you go. Common, common sense. sense. <laughs> Ocean is superior to space. Yeah, oh. everyone knows this. Do your research. Did we no, even do a right? sound check? You can't just start. Yeah, 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 we sound checked. Anyway, all right, let's get into this. <sighs> yeah, No Man's Sky. No Man's Sky. Well, hang on. Let's preface. E3 happened. E3 is happening right. right now. No Man's Sky. The E3 press conferences did happen, and we saw some pretty cool stuff about No Man's Sky, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm so, trying to convince these guys the same. So what is No Man's Sky? Tell a little bit about it. No like. Man's Sky is an open universe. The first open universe game of all time. Um, no, you can't say it's the first open universe game just because it takes place in space. It takes place in the entirety of the universe. I think what he's saying is that the, the size of it the is, scope is, is a full universe. Is more we, we similar. Haven't. I mean, there's no edge to the universe, but, you know, there is no edge. Yeah. No, there's no edge to the universe, so it couldn't be that. You know exactly where the edges of the ocean are. But you don't know where the edges of space are. which makes it infinitely (laughs) less cool. (laughs) Nope. The fact that there's no edge is incredible. And yet we still don't know all of it. We barely scratched the surface. Barely. Yeah. We've 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 less than barely scratched the surface of space. <laughs> and we never will yeah. go any further. This is gonna get derailed so much. Anyway, No Man's Sky. We'll talk about it. Quintillions of planets to explore. You will you will hit a, a very small fraction of them in the in the playing of this game. We don't know too much about the gameplay. We know that there's space battles, space exploration. There's trades. There's other things. And I think it's a pretty cool technical achievement. I talked for like three minutes about it um, in the Communication Hill podcast two days ago. Um, but I think it's a really cool, and I'm excited to play it. What uh, what platform is this? Do I think it's going to be PlayStation 4 and PC. PlayStation 4 PC. Makes sense. I'll, I'll agree. That's a cool achievement. But what it looks like is you're sacrificing graphic and gameplay quality for a bigger open world i don't think you're sacrificing gameplay quality i think so i mean we don't even know what that is from what we saw like you're not interacting barely anything you're barely interacting with anyone you're only interacting with computers which are sentinels trying that we saw in three minutes i will say this the thing that gets me excited about open world games is not necessarily how big it is Mm-hmm. Well, I'm not saying that this game, this game doesn't have good qualities. We I, we don't know a lot yet. But the things that get me excited are a good world, mm-hmm. an interesting story that you're following. There has to be some sort of structure, even if it's very loose. Sure. And it sounds like there is something in this game, the whole getting to the center of the galaxy. So maybe there is something there, mm-hmm. but 
it has to be unique also yeah you know the flying around and like the shooting stuff that looks fun but is it something like i feel like that's not too unique yet from what we've seen i want to see a little more like Mm -hmm. oh you can do this and we've never seen this before yeah so so i guess the most unique thing that we know so far is the scope and the random generation how can that be applied then how is this good for gaming as a whole and how can that be applied in other aspects i mean not necessarily size of a game i mean the i mean i want to know more about what you can do with other people in this game because it sounds like everybody's it sounds like everybody is playing on the same map, essentially, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but you're never going to run into anyone because there's way too big of a map. See, that's why I think there has to be... I think they would have thought about that. Mm-hmm. Because nobody... You know, what's the point of playing with other people if you're never going to see anybody <laughs> else? That just doesn't make any sense. Right. So there has to be some sort of point where you can interact with other people. But you're right. This is almost like an open world game with that that's on that takes place online with other people but the possibilities for what you could do could be endless yeah we don't know close to endless mm-hmm. um yeah i guess um it's definitely it's it's first person there's shooting aspects there's space battle shooter aspects like cockpit battle um so I mean, I guess that's kind of like Destiny in a way, where there's this open, like, it's not open world, but there's this hub where everybody goes and you can see everybody playing and then you can go out with some of them. I think it's like up to two others, like three total on missions and stuff, but that was very limited. There was like nine. See, that's the thing. From what I've seen from Destiny, I I didn't actually play it, but it looked like it's open world but it's pretty structured in what you can do. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and it's basically just, like, what, the same mission? Isn't that the complaint that everybody had? It was, like, very repetitive. You were just basically doing... Yeah, and the story was literally, like, three hours long. Yeah. So, with this game, it sounds like they're they're leaving it open a little bit more to just, inter- like, you choose what you do, whether it be trade or going out and fighting and taking over planets and doing stuff like that, mm-hmm. which is good, but... Once again, I want to see a, something a little more unique. Mm-hmm. I want them to introduce, you know, one or two aspects that are like no other game has has this. You know what I want to see? What? What in the game? <clears throat> Aliens. Find a planet, own the planet, build colonies, take over other planets that other people have, and rebuild over their colonies and try to protect your planet. Well, I mean, the, I th- I think that's probably going to be the next although i don't know why they wouldn't have said that now if that maybe that's they, the uh, selling point right there that that would be the selling point for that's me. A, and that's essentially what fallout 4 just announced also <laughs> i mean that might be part of it because as soon as he landed there yeah, were like could. robots trying to kill him and get him off mm-hmm. like that would be boring if every planet had those just to be an enemy yeah this could have been someone else mm-hmm. well he discovered the planet so. <laughs> unless it was unless there is some force that has taken over every planet in the universe and and they that they sent the sentinels out and so you're trying to fight back against whatever that is at the center of the universe well you can't take over a planet to own it without any you without earning it right so what do you have to kill at whatever's there yeah which may be everything come that comes from the center of the universe the center of the universe controls all the planets and then factions build up when you're on a you're in like a guild or a clan or something, yeah. and you're trying to capture planets for your clan, but those could be user generated clans. Okay, but let's rewind a minute here. This is all completely speculative. speculative. Yeah. <laughs> and here's what, why. That's... Here's why that wouldn't be fun at all because what? <laughs> let's say okay, let's be super generous. Let's say a million people bought and played the game regularly. Okay. Which is ridiculous. I mean, that happens. Okay, so if all of them took the time to take over a planet and colonize it, that's something that sounds like it would take a while. They would still be like, that would be like one, one, a one one millionth of all the planets in the game still. Yeah. So what are the odds that it's 
one in a million that you'll find another planet that's colonized for you to take over. I mean, it can happen. Oh no, I think I think what uh, what the presenter was alluding to was that there might be planets that you go to that have an alien race already there. That's that's AI. So, or besides the besides the Sentinels. Yeah. Yeah, because he said there was no there was no alien life there, but there there can be. So what I was thinking, what would be cool is if you go to a place that has life already there, and something already set up take that you want to take over. But what if they're like a good species that have like their shit together, you kill and them you all. kill them all? So maybe like there's some choices that have to be made. It's like a good evil yeah thing. I don't know. I it, I don't know how much work they would have put in if it's random generation. That's what worries me. Yeah. Because when you go to a planet like where there's NPCs there, I want to see some work put into them, not just a random, like, things walking around that, that either just attack you or don't. Right. Mm-hmm. But I think they would be, they could be deeper than that, because every planet, it looks like they put a lot into the random generation, like plants, wildlife, water, no right. water, so mountains. Be different combinations and things like, like that. There's lots of combinations, and they could do that with the with the personality of an AI, pretty easily. But yeah, I don't know. This, I would like to see more before I'm gonna say that this is revolutionary. Or yeah, definitely. I feel like game changing. I feel like it's almost gimmicky. Mm. It's just a super big open world. I don't think it's gimmicky. At this point, that's all we know. It's just a bigger open world. See, I, game. I would like to see the. Uh, you know, the game that instead of goes big, goes even smaller for open world and makes that interesting. Makes it interesting? Yeah. No, no, no. Not that it's small makes it interesting. I would like to see them make, try to make that interesting. Because going big seems easy. obvious and easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, let's just make it bigger. That's what we always do. We're getting bigger and bigger. Make it smaller and interesting. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of basically the same as an on rails game, not open world. I mean... Or just like a sandbox game, I guess. That's like Disney Infinity. But, like but I mean, when you think about what open like world game. means, it yeah, doesn't, it's Zelda. doesn't necessarily mean that it has to be a big space. Yeah. It just well, means Zelda. that you have freedom to do things. But Zelda. Yeah, you're t- it sounds like you're talking about a Zelda game. Zelda, you don't... You have open. to follow the story. It's not really open. But it's open. You can go to different... Any place yeah, on the map. Yeah, yeah but... Side missions and but stuff. But when, you think of, when I think of open world, I think of like a Skyrim where there is a main story, but you don't ever have to do it. You can just do all the side missions. You you can become part of a guild, part of the, you know, all, all these other things. Right, right. And Zelda, you can't. Really Skyrim, do that. Skyrim was probably too big of a world. What? I, no, I felt like I spent really. hours riding around on horses. Skyrim. The heck, yeah. man, trying to get can teleport. Places. Places. Can do it. You can teleport. Yes. <laughs> what? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I probably knew that. I haven't played it. Yeah, I just played it. I can't remember if you can teleport. <laughs> I've just been doing. Yeah, I've just been doing some quick um, searches, and I'm just gonna read off the headlines that I got about No Man's Sky. Great. There. Uh, yeah. This one is No Man's Sky is so big the developers built space probes to explore it for them. That's one. <laughs> Another one. Um, no Man's Sky will take five billion years to fully explore. Five billion. Well, that makes me really want to time. dive into that game. <laughs> um, Don't, isn't that like the exact amount of time that the Earth will fall into the sun? Five billion Maybe that's years. why they designed it like that. Ooh, interesting. Last day. All right. All right, let's speculate about what's at the center of the galaxy. What, what, so that seems to be the main objective. Main right. objective, so, get to the center of the galaxy. Could take, it could take a while. It's, we're just basically just creating our own game at this point. Hey. Let's just say using the No Man's Sky as a jumping off point to creating our own games, that's what this podcast is. I mean, I don't see why... Well, we can't do that. It seems like a, yeah. let's do. It. Let's speculate wildly and have our dreams crushed when the game comes out. Oh, I have got no, it. I have no hopes or dreams for this game. I do, but anyway, anyone have any ideas? Yeah, I have an idea. Okay, so at the center of the galaxy, get this one over with. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is a legit one. So, you know, it's like all these different religion type things. What? <laughs> yeah. People okay, like, like believe so people like believe so different things. Yeah, no, we understand. Yeah, I think are. the developer, the developer of this game. The one developer found oh, out. It's Mordor. <laughs> Mordor's at the center of the galaxy. Yes. Oh, okay. The developers found out 
what the correct religion is. <laughs> what the correct And at the center of this galaxy, you find God in whatever form it may be. But which or, God? Come on, Jer- Come on. We're, we're, we're creating Whoa, a game don't here. give... Come on, Tommy. Tommy. I'm not the one who did this and saying I that. met Tommy. Which God? You is have the, to pick one. Which God is the real one? Yeah. Um, probably just like... It's probably just like a cloud of space gas. Space gas? Yeah, like all colorful and just like... So it was the sun? No, I don't think it's the sun. I think it's just like more more of like it's a fog like a, type look. Like fog. Okay. okay. Like like it. almost how Futurama did it. Right, right. That guy was a god? It was like there the was blinking, there was a, like, like Milky Way oh, right, type right, thing. Yeah. 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 If you hear some squeaking and stuff, it's my upstairs neighbors. Uh, they're the worst. I hate them. I thought they were I love them. Not anymore. They See, just moved in. They're the, worse l- than the Little kids running around and playing keyboard and stuff. Yeah. I think that was the day that... Whoa, whoa. Okay. Do you think you can find Earth in No Man's Sky? Probably not. Oh, Why? come on. They have There's to a quintillion randomly generated planets. One of them <laughs> would probably resemble Earth pr- pretty pretty closely. Okay. What if... The, sure. What if... That's okay, crazy. here's my speculation. Maybe that's what the center of the galaxy is. Or my... Could you imagine? Imagine the social commentary. Yeah, it's wait, America. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right at the center of the galaxy... I got two for you. Well, they're kind of the same concept. You get there, and all of a sudden, it's either, like, Earth, and then you basically play just, like, um, Second Life, Mm -hmm. and it just becomes, like, a game of Sims, (laughs) or it's, like, you know, Middle Earth or something, and then all of a sudden, it's just, uh another Lord of the Rings game. Yeah, like those, It totally changes t- to just whatever that world is. Those are your two guesses. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's got to be one of the it's two. It's either Middle Earth or regular Earth. <laughs> like maybe it's Westeros, you know? It could what? be. What? what is that? Game of Thrones. I never God, heard of that. Come on, Tommy. All right, so... Um, is that the show where Joffrey dies? Oh, my... Now we gotta pick that out. Tommy, Tommy, are you creating all this work for me? Why you gotta keep bringing it up? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I said a one thing. Uh, you guys bring up Game of Thrones one more time. All right, whatever. There have been plenty more significant deaths since then. So. Hey, no spoilers. Anyway, Joey, for reals, dream middle of the universe for No Man's Sky. Go. You just said it. I just said mine. Really? You want I, it to be a different game? No, yeah. You I want it to, to be like, like Lord of the Rings. I want it, no, no. <laughs> he wants it to be The Sims 5. I, I want it to be some world that we already know. Sims 5 space. And then all of a sudden you have to live, play, in, that world. live in that world. That sounds really boring. Well, I mean, you, you would probably leave. just want to go back out and explore. You can leave, but it's like the main mission's in there. Right, right. Or it's to get to there at least. Yeah, but then it's gonna be no, a process. I don't want it to there. just be getting there. I want you the to pro- get there. The and game then is getting a whole there. Other thing. The game is getting there, and I'm sure once you get there, that'll open up. All right, this kind of gets into what I want it to be. I definitely want it to be a like kind of like an MMOE type of, but more of there are real like substantial teams that mean something. Like factions, different maybe religious factions, like political factions and stuff, and you know, there's a there's a way to get to the middle of the universe, but everybody's got a different way of how they think it should be done. Mm. And then, once the first person gets to the middle, or the first clan or whatever, then the game changes completely, and it's who has control of the middle. That'll never happen. How well, are they I mean, going to change a quintillion planets? Not every... change it. They'd have to just... Get, whatever the process is to getting to the middle, it's a fight, it's a war between all these different things. Everybody's trying to get to the middle first. And then it's just a, uh, you know, hold down the fort. It could be. Expand. I mean, they do talk about adding, that they're going to add things as more people start playing. And it's risk. Start progressing. It's risk. It's, it's planet Space risk. Space risk. Could be. I will pass on that. For sure. Sounds cool. I don't know. I, I don't know if I'll play it, but I'm interested to see what it actually is and how it, how people react to it. I think that would be really cool. I'd be definitely interested in something like that. I definitely want to see something where it's there are real teams and maybe even user generated teams, where you can with your friends create your own faction, try to grow your ranks, or maybe even put a cap on it, and then you get to pick. Let me ask you this, Josh. You ever played Claw? 
<laughs> kingdoms, uh, at war. kingdoms at war the... that's a game where you can uh, team up with your friends yeah but it's it's all like text based yeah but it's it extends to real life i want to so see no it i want to see it spatially about. yeah well you will see it spatially on an in unknown space. date yeah. thanks all right hey, it ain't no ocean that's for sure i think that'd be really cool we but anyway no man's water <laughs> Wait, what's no man's called? ocean? No, no man's, man's sky. No, oh, no man's sky. Oh yeah, yeah. No man's water. It's Imagine. no man's. Okay, wait. Let, let's let's dive into the to the title. Let's dive into it. No man's sky. It belongs to no man. Yeah. Not no yet. one. Until man. someone discovers it. That's the point. You're discovering space. Hmm. Moving on. What could that mean? <laughs> there, there, are implica- there are implications there. There's no implications in that. Yes, there are. There totally are. What does any game title No Man's mean? Sky. This could go back to your theory about they figured out who the real god is. God. God <laughs> is at the center of the galaxy. What else would it be if I, not God? I bet it's the Rastafarian god. <laughs> I bet it's the rock. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that too. <laughs> Dwayne the rock. <laughs> the rock is just like, hey, you know what? That would be a great game. That would be a great game. <laughs> and you just hang out with the rock all day. Yeah. yeah. That's, what you do. That's your That's prize for beating the game. <laughs> Guys, you know what time it is. Is it like time already? 9.30? It's 9.49. And you know what time that is. Break time? It's time for Tommy's 10 second movie reviews. Oh, Tommy, tell us what you're reviewing today. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing uh, a little film by uh, uh, Disney and Pixar called Inside Out. Inside Out, wow. Comes out today. Today, yeah. If it's Friday. Um, the, uh, the you... day this podcast is dropped. Yeah, this Friday. Right. We are recording this June before that day, but and definitely not all of no, us have seen it. Us. Anyway, let's yeah. get into it. We've all seen it. Ooh, let's get into it. Wait, okay. I'll on. give you 10 seconds, no warning. Hang Wait, on. let me compose my thoughts. Oh, God, hurry up. Are you composed? No, I know. I really have no idea what I'm going to say. Oh, okay. Okay, Wait, that's, that's what this is. Off the cuff here. That's ready? This is. Ready? Ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Inside Out, uh, not Pixar's best film, but maybe one of its smartest um, really smart jokes, good for kids and adults, um, makes you laugh, makes you cry, and makes you heartless. Makes you heartless? Is that's unless, what I heard. Is unless you're heartless. Don't say anything else you can't, it makes you heartless. We'll no, see I said it unless. See after- Hello, and we're back. back. <laughs> Welcome back to God Thank You. Damn it. Got him again. And this is where we start the second half of the video game talk podcast. And this is not go a video game. Josh. It's not video games exclusively, but this time it is, I'm Josh. We had to redo our names on yes. every break. Yeah, in case I forgot. I'm Joey. I forgot. All right, we don't know who that we is, but he's here. <laughs> We're going to talk about hype, the nature of hype, and how it affects us as consumers, how developers and uh, co- video game companies use it to sell to consumers, and how it relates to E3. Now, Josh, why don't you tell us the origin of the word hype? Yeah, um, hype came from uh, Hyper. the original word uh, hyperdrive, which was, of course, <laughs> used in the sci-fi <laughs> film for the first time. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> that is good. Um, so basically, when you announce a new game, um, a gamer's scientifically, a gamer's brain goes into hyperdrive and wants to buy that game. Right. Yes. We shortened it to hype because that's just way too long of a word. But... But why? Why do they get the hyperdrive when just from someone saying, hey, this game is going to exist? I'll tell you exactly why. Because you put a number at the end of it, that means they liked the first one, and they're going to like another one. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> getting that's the main not, topic that's not here. True. No, it's not true. Let's talk about the game we were just talking about during the break, <laughs> Assassin's Creed. Who else is done with that shit? I think everybody, yeah, right? They should be. I can't imagine anybody this? being excited about Assassin's Creed anymore well was there any hype reaction i don't know so that's a probably a no yeah i don't think so i didn't nice. watch ubisoft's uh thing. you said you watched all of them i watched all the main you're ones. a dirty liar i watched nintendo i watched microsoft i watched sony and i watched square enix just because i like square enix great thanks uh, what else did you watch this weekend any tv yeah no i watched the new um orphan black oh wow good um Ain't no spoilers yeah no jerry's not caught up um, I haven't watched the new Silicon Valley yet. Ooh, me neither. Mm. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. You gotta watch let, it. Me, let me get your password. My HBO password? Yeah. No, I pay good money for that shit. 
You have my WWE password. That's true, but I haven't used it. <laughs> wow. Well, that's your own fault. You, should. you should say it on mic. All right, um, my home address is. <laughs> Why do you need a home address? And my he social security. My password. I'm just logged in. On my his... social security card number. He doesn't actually have my password. I'm just logged. It's just in. logged in on my PlayStation. Oh. But anyway, back on topic. No, uh, no, I want to hear more about what you watch. Assassin's Creed. That's not what we're talking about. I'm done with it. <laughs> okay. Next. So Next. why did you bring it up? Fallout Four. Mm. Well, hang on. Who gives a darn? I hang on. Let's talk, cool. let's talk about it looks really why cool. we're talking about these things right it's now. A hype. All right. Yeah. So E three is essentially just and what conferences is, like what is it. that. What does E three stand for? Electronic Joey. energy. Joey, hang on. What does E three stand for? Joey? I know. We're all gonna go is. around. We're all gonna go around. Okay. E three. Everything. <laughs> Everybody. <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Perfect. Song. See, yeah, you're close, but it's actually everybody, everywhere, every time. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> no, see, Tommy, no, you were close, but it's actually everything, everywhere, every why eats. <laughs> eats. Yes. Okay. <laughs> everything, everywhere eats. That's that true. Sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Oh, okay. Josh, you yeah. had to bring this Touché. back to science. Mm hmm. Oh, you scientist. You Electronic scientist. Entertainment Expo. Okay. What, is, what? What? E3. Stop yelling out words. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. Okay, so. Yes, E3. Why Why do... What is the point? This is my favorite time of year. I'm going to go ahead and say that right now. See, why is... See, E3 is my favorite time of year. You're, see, you're at Christmas time. time. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm a fall guy myself. We gotta be honest. Actually, summer. we're a summer. We're we're summer people. Oh, well, that's right now, and that's when E3 is happening. So, <laughs> you got us. Please try to stay on topic, guys. Okay. Yeah, hashtag tangent. E3 is my favorite time of year. I love watching new game announcements. <coughs> love getting excited about the games that I can't wait for, and I like. To also, I like to report on what I hear too. Why, so. why can't you wait for these games though? Why is your initial reaction excitement for these games just because they say I feel this like game's I'm coming able, out? I feel like I'm able to separate what I'm not interested in and what I think will be good. But you already knew a lot of the titles before E3. The ones I'm most excited about, I had no idea until E3. Okay. Um. Like what, Joey? Last Guardian. Who's that? Yes. Who is the Last Guardian? Well, the Last Guardian is a game that we Star were Lord? not even sure. Hey. We're not even sure was going to come out ever. It was announced back in the PS2 days as a sequel to The Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, I remember that game. Yeah, and uh, it was announced. They showed some gameplay of it at E3 years ago, like a long time ago. And then nothing ever. And it's been rumored ever since. Are we ever going to see The Last Guardian again? Oh, it's going to be at E3 this year. And it never is. Everybody just assumed it was dead. Out of nowhere. This year. They opened the show. Sony. Last Guardian. It's back. PlayStation 4. See. <laughs> <laughs> see, I do see. By a bug. <laughs> see, I understand E3 for that purpose. Hmm. Because... All of a sudden, coming back from something that you talked about so long ago, mm -hmm. it's like, how do we do this? How do we just say, hey guys, we're doing this mm -hmm. at the risk of nobody caring yeah. because of how long it's been. Mm -hmm. So for that purpose, I see E3 is good for things like that. Well, a funny thing with that announcement, that was the first announcement of the Sony press conference. That they opened the show with it. And then the producer came out and you could just see, like, God, finally, this thing is like ready to come out soon and like he was so excited to announce it and i like looking at him i was like oh my god just so just so happy he, he looked so happy and i was like wanted to cry but anyway um then then he said then he said he said you have no idea how long i've been wanting to, i've been waiting to reintroduce you to this and i was like well we do because it's been exactly the same amount of time as we've waited since you were last <laughs> oh, yeah. reintroduced <laughs> and Clever, uh, but yeah it felt like a millennia for him I'm sure it has, considering they've probably been slaving over Maybe it. He had to make it himself. Yeah. No one else is like, <laughs> we're not helping you with it. this one. Well, yeah, there were some falling outs, actually, during the pro production of the uh, Fallout 4. Perfect segue. 
No. So, <laughs> what? Fallout 4. Wait, there were some falling outs during the production of Fallout 4? No, there were falling outs during the production of um, The Last Guardian. Speaking of fallouts. Speaking of fallouts. There you go. Fallout 4. Finish your sentence before you segue. Yeah, Jesus. Shelters. Rookie. Dogs. Wasn't that in 3? Wasn't shelters? That the, wasn't that in the trailer? Yeah. No, you can like design your own shelter and like you have to guard it and everything. Was that not in 3? I don't think so. I feel like it... I don't know. I never played it. I never played three. There, there I looks like there's a lot to do in this game, and That's it looks to really, go. really cool. If there's anything we know about video games, throw a dog in there. Oof. It's really good. Fable, good Fable Two, Fable, um, Call of Duty. Really? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get attack dogs. So there you go. Okay, that's hardly. Oh, uh, what's? Makes me. Don't you get a dog in uh... Harvest Moon? You're right. Good call. That's not what I was thinking of. But you do. Um, the Sims Pets expansion. Sims Pets expansion, that's true. Ooh, that, that game, Dogs. Dogs? Oh, Nintendo Dogs. Nintendo Nintendo dogs. dogs. Come on, Flurry. <laughs> yeah, so you definitely get a dog in those games. Uh, you definitely do. <laughs> it's, not, it's no longer speculation. You do get a dog in Fallout 4. Speaking of the hype train, there's a game for PlayStation 1 called Final Fantasy 7. Little little game called Final Fantasy 7. A lot of people really liked it. But you remember, it. that was a, uh, a two-disker. That was a four-disker. Okay, it was a four-disker. <laughs> it's too many discs. I remember we um, had it. Keep it on one. And when you start that game, the very first thing you it see, couldn't. there's this train comes into the station, and Cloud Strife, the main character, flips off the big knife, the right? top. Yes, big knife. <laughs> flips off the top of the train, and he starts his first battle. Speaking of trains, hype train... Final Fantasy VII HD you remake. You already said speaking you of hype train. About, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were already there. You're so Damn bad it. at segueing. Uh, I'm trying. <laughs> hey, you're no. Uh, You'll never. You know, be yes. I'm no Eric Strifler. Our, our our proven friends who we've talked about on the podcast before. This is every episode. Anyway, this has been every not last episode. one. Oh, Most of them though. Anyway, um, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII HD remake for the PlayStation Four and Xbox One. Is there anything I learned about HD remakes is they're all hype, no result. All hype, no gripe. At the end of the day, it's the same game. I like them. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> there's definitely an audience that that likes to replay games and would mm-hmm. prefer to play them in the same way that they play games now. Well, think about think about this one specifically. What the last HD remakes we've all seen have been from like PS3 to PS4. That's true. This is an appropriate this is huge. remake. That's, that's this is a PlayStation pretty... One. There's literally you can't even see their mouths because they're all just polygons. You can see the polygons in the original game, and it plays very different than any game that we play now. That's true. Did you ever? Do you have PS One? Nope. Really? Uh, Nintendo. Nintendo kid. I had both. We had both. Oh, well, aren't you just the rich family? <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. No, that's not true. Yeah. I, my favorite game was uh, Digimon World 3. Ooh, is there an HD re-release for that? There should they be. should. Be. That was a great game. Is Was it 3 or 2? I think Digimon World 1 was the best one. Wait, which is the one that we played? We had 3 and 1. Digimon World 3 one? was the one where you had the trail of 3. Oh, heck yeah, that's the one. I'm that's the about. one? Really? It's so good. I liked 1 the best. I don't even remember 1. Because that's when you have one? just 1. Ah, get that. Out of here. That's like the actual anime. Yeah, but it's not as fun because you don't have three. Yeah, but you have one and it's like your buddy. Hey, quiet down out there. <laughs> do you have a broom that we can hit the ceiling with? Yeah, we should. Honestly. But actually, yes, we do. But anyway. <laughs> um, so hashtag. basically, that's what we're trying to do. Uh, Digimon World 1 through 3 <coughs> HD remake. We'll see you next that's week. That's what this is about. <laughs> That, that's our announcement. Before we, we go, produce we it. will be producing. <laughs> wow, you think we could do that? No. Yeah, let's do it. With all this podcast money. <laughs> and finally, the hypest games. The hypest game of E3 2015. Metroid Prime, the 3v3 <laughs> okay. battle arena game. Yeah, this sure. looks so bad. Oh, Jesus, <laughs> what? It doesn't look bad, but... Not a it was, just like a why? It was a slap Are in the face this? because we've been wanting a new Metroid game for years, and we have not gotten one. Isn't that what they do? And they announce a Metroid Prime bullshit 3DS 3v3 shooter. You're not even Samus. You're just <laughs> random dudes. They love to do that, don't they? Like, you want... 
a console like game or something and yeah. then they give you a 3ds like toned down version that's yeah. not even the same as the yeah <laughs> it's actually they did the same thing with zelda too they announced a three-player co-op zelda game Didn't on 3ds they do that with um kingdom hearts too or was that it was an actual i mean yeah that definitely happens with kingdom hearts a lot but i i do like some of those kingdom hearts games they're pretty good especially the last 3ds one it was really good but they did also show some new uh kingdom hearts 3 footage with the first world from the game tangled Ooh, Tangled. Yeah. Ooh, that's a Disney. People like that movie. Pretty cool. Yeah. I think that's pretty cool. It's good girls, but whatever. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Tommy. Yeah, Should we talk, talk about the hypest game? The actual hypest game? Fire Emblem? Fate? Is that what it's called? Fates. Fates. No, no. I am excited for that. No, the actual hypest game wait. that the most people cared about. Yeah, we already did. Fallout? Um, Mario Maker. Mario Maker Mario is Maker. actually getting pretty a lot of hype. Yeah. It looks good. It does look good. Well, I mean... These kind of games do well. Is it? I want to put it. Like, can people mod it? Or yeah, why would you mod it? You just make mod. it. It's, yeah. it's a modding. It's basically make your own Mario level. Well, it's make your own level, but I mean, can people introduce other things that aren't they probably will. part yeah. of the original? It's hard to mod. I mean, not game. legally, yeah, but but you don't need to. I don't think you need to. Yeah. I want to like put those. a. I want to put a question block with another regular block on top of it that you can't hit. Wow, that's so funny. How is this going to be a full <laughs> game? That's what I want to know. It's I, it's I mean, not going to be a full. Mario things are full it's games. not going to be a full price retail game. I guarantee it. Oh, you don't think so? It's like a, like a, no way. It's going to be like thirty nine forty nine maybe. I don't think it'll even be that much. That's a lot of money, so. Maybe nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah. If all you can do is design your own levels and then run through them, well, you get to play everybody's levels as well. Yeah. Oh. So it's like. Oh. Yeah. It's, what so did it's you like think? little. It's like Little Big Planet then. It is. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. Little Big Planet is also. Oh, you thought it was just like I made this level. Now I can play it. <laughs> cool. I, don't know, I don't know. I totally forgot that online game. Yeah. That was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> terrible game yeah no that's why i say 39 49 probably more, more 39 99 39 99 let's I see it, see it Nintendo. yeah i'm not buying that shit for 41 you heard it here first <laughs> you heard it here first this is a fan game exclusive 39 99 mario maker we're calling it probably so, not don't don't quote us so hype exists yes, hype does exist for it's, these reasons. i don't think i think that i mean make an educated decision i'm always gonna do my research on a game before i buy it well I'm super stoked on, like, plenty of games. But then there are also plenty of games where I'm super stoked on them, and then they come out, and I don't end up buying because I hear they're terrible. So, you know, I think people who get overhyped because of these E3-type events will go and just buy the game right away. Yeah, well, it's a marketing strategy, for sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, people have to buy terrible games for the other people who are smarter to know that they are not good. I don't... I don't even understand. It's a survival of the fittest scenario. I don't even understand having conferences to promote your game. I feel like it's the, that the I expectation really is fun. to is to is to promote so many games at once that you're. Oh Jesus! Ma. It's a June bug. June bug. We just got attacked. Oh God! <laughs> so okay, okay, this one was a real fear. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. He's on his back. He's stuck. Kill it, Joey. Kill it. Me? Yeah. I don't want to kill it. <laughs> Give me a dang thing or something. <laughs> you got it. You just picked up the thing. Yeah, but I can't. This is all floppy. Give her a paper towel. Crush it. All right. Crush it. You're going to hear the... Oh, God. Oh, it's on the ground. These things are blind, right? Yeah. All right, you're going to hear this live. Yep, you're hearing this all live. Just stay still. Then. It, it can only see you if you move. Oh. That didn't kill it. They have such hard shells. Oh, God. Well, you just, you throw it. It. You just throw it outside. Yeah, yeah, don't brush it into my carpet. Pick it up and throw it outside. <laughs> Open. He's right next to you right now. <laughs> He's right next to the mic. Feel him buzzing around in there. Hey, really? I don't know. Hurry, more are going to come in. Well, close the damn door. You gotta throw it outside. I don't know where it is. How did it get in? I saw it fly. I saw it fly. Please stand yeah. by. Podcast will resume shortly. <laughs> All right, so uh, yeah. All right, so uh, Fallout Four. Yeah, nothing happened. Nothing happened. So we're gonna delete all that, right? Nope. No, <laughs> no, leave that in. That was oh, a, oh, behaving like girls. <laughs> hey, you know what, Tommy? Yeah, that's like not even it's like an a gender comment you yeah. made. Oh, right. what do you think this is? Mm-hmm. Um, 1954. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, is it not? 
<laughs> anyway, <laughs> let's wrap this thing up. Okay, what was I saying? Um, no, yeah, I don't. Happens. I don't understand it because, like, for the people who don't want to play eighty games at once, announce one game. Let me get excited for that. Play it, like it or not, and then give me the next one. Don't give me well, twelve that's games. Yeah, they they're, don't make they're, money off one game. I'm not gonna be. So like nobody's gonna play all of these games that are announced. Maybe. Yeah, I, I think, think there a lot right. of hardcore gamers will. That's well. too much. I mean, yeah. I was definitely sold this year on an Xbox One. Ooh. Oh, because of the backwards backwards compatibility. compatibility. They announced a new game from the creators of um, Metroid and I forget the other game, but it's another good game. I forgot. Mega Man. <laughs> Mega Man and Metroid. Um, it's a it's a three D. Wait oh, for Xbox. For Xbox One. Exclusive. Nintendo. Exclusive. Yeah, no, but it's an Xbox game. It's exclusive, and you play as this girl who lives in a pineapple under the sea. No, <laughs> got him. <laughs> that, was, that was great. SpongeBob's not a girl. I don't even watch. She's a gay no. guy. <laughs> Tommy, you're about to get kicked out of this podcast. <laughs> 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 this moment quiet Jesus. <laughs> anyway no filter you're terrible you play you're as the mic of this podcast yeah <laughs> you play you play as this girl who lives on earth where <laughs> Jesus. no one can tell it. okay okay she lives on earth as one of the last humans um and it is mostly inhabited by robots Mm. What's, what's like like, like Jeppy AI? <laughs> Jeppy's the opposite. It's a one robot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like that. And it looks really cool. It's an Xbox One exclusive, and it looks yeah, it's awesome. If you need something from Redbox this weekend, get Chappy. Really? I think it was underrated. I think it's on demand. <laughs> on demand, yeah, but you gotta rent it. Yeah, you rent it. So may as well go to Redbox. I don't know. I just like with the, all the games you talked about today. It's like, how am I supposed to play all those? Well, you need a lot of money, first of all. Get rid of your job. Become uh, 13 again. <laughs> okay, get rid of my job. That's that's going to be the first problem. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for them. I'm especially excited for Fallout 4, um, The Last Guardian, uh, Mario Maker, Final Fantasy 7, Horizon. All the Fire Emblems. All the Fire Emblems, including Shin Megami Tensei Crossfire Emblem. What? I'm excited for both of those. Trying to get my paws on them. Paws on them. Joey doesn't get excited about very many video games, and E3 nope. even has him hyped. Nope. We'll okay, see you well. next week. Just kidding. Hey, Where guess, can you find yeah, us? Yeah, I know. Hey, guess what? I'm going to call you out. We just ended <laughs> without <laughs> just saying any actually. of our plugs damn or it, ending it. it properly, so <laughs> premature. All right, All right let's say us. some plugs. Uh, I'll say some plugs. Uh, three pronged. Um, <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> What are you talking about? Three prongs. Types of plugs. That's the only one I know. <laughs> Three prongs. <God. laughs> Twitter.com <laughs> slash fangeared. YouTube.com slash fangeared. Where else can you find us? Instagram.com slash geared fans. Nope, nope. It's still fangeared. Fan oh, oh, we damn. actually managed to get all of those. That's pretty good. We also, yeah, so um, I just made, twi- I just made twitch.com slash fangeared. Oh, um, we have not started using it yet, but you can look forward can to I that. Can I stream from that? Soon. Yeah. Oh, I mean, we all could. We all will. Oh, together? Yeah. Separate? Together, separate, whatever you want to do. Can you stream solitaire from my iPhone? Is that- <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. hope so. Because <laughs> uh, otherwise. Do you have a headset? So you can like talk while you play? I have headphones. Oh, that'll work. <laughs> All right, there we go. <laughs> yeah, but the three of us and uh, and even Michael are going to be getting on the, uh, the Twitches soon. All right. Who? Michael. Who's that? Hey, wait. Okay. Do we want to go? T- uh, we'll talk about this off mic, actually. All right. Oh, I want to know. We'll wait, see you next week. Wait. Um...